And now to MSNBC on campus, where we are collaborating with the next generation of journalists to bring you stories from across this nation. And today, we're checking in with the University of North Dakota. And this story of two very brave souls, they're on a mission to promote the positive side of wind energy. They're snow kiting across the northern plains in the dead of winter. Student reporter Nick Johnson joins me from the very chilly Grand Forks, North Dakota. Good morning or good afternoon. I guess it's still morning. No, it's afternoon for you. I'll get it right. How are you, Nick? It's afternoon, yep. It I'm is. doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing really well, <laughs> but I'm freezing just thinking about snow kiting, especially where you are. What exactly is that sport? Um, basically, it's just snowboarding or skiing, only it's on an open plain, which North Dakota has quite a bit of on the eastern side. And um, <laughs> you need a lot of wind because you're propelled by a parachute that you just harness yourself to and you just strap yourself into the snowboard or, or a pair of skis and you just go with it as if you're going down a hill. I'll tell you, I know wind is the pivotal part here to all this because they're trying to bring awareness to uh, mm. wind energy, but let me tell you, talk about sacrifice. First of all, the mission for these two guys, and who are they? Well, their names are Jason Magnus and Sam Salway, and uh, the mission basically was supposed to be a two-week event. They were going to go across the state of North Dakota. It's a 370-mile expedition, and unfortunately for them, they got just short because they ran out of snow. They made it about three-quarters of the way down all the way almost to South Dakota and uh, just flat-out ran out of snow. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's not like then they quit on them, so it's like, you know, what could they do, really, right? So at least they, they went as really, far as they possibly yeah. could. Let's talk about wind energy, though, in their state there in North Dakota. I know that uh, North Dakota is apparently the number one state with regard to wind energy. Talk about that how important true. it is there. Why North Dakota? What is it about North Dakota that wants to put all these windmills and the like out there? Well, we are number one in potential wind energy, and... But unfortunately, right now, we're about 15th in the country in production of that wind energy. So these guys are kind of out there right now to just raise awareness and get the word out there that we need to sort of harness this energy. Because if we did so, um, we could potentially power up to 30% of all the nation's power. And Nick, are, are you aware of whether or not this is private entities that is developing all the wind energy there, if it's public entities? Do you know who's behind it all? Um, I don't really. It's mostly private entities right now, and these guys are trying to uh, raise funds for themselves as well as wind energy. A company called Prana has also jumped on board for them to kind of help them get this moving along mm -hmm. and get the word out there. And wh where are these two guys right now? And I guess the big question, have they thought out? <laughs> well, right now they're out in Missoula, Montana, just kind of talking about snow kiting and getting people into the sport as well as uh, promoting wind energy. So they, they travel around the country quite a bit. Okay, well, let's hope maybe they travel in cars when they have to go any further of distances than that, <laughs> although it looks kind of fun. Nick Johnson there at the University of North Dakota. Thanks for bringing the story to us. We appreciate it. Thank you.